don't. That's mean. <laughs> so it is Saturday, April what? Sixth. April, April sixth, I think. And we've been outside all day because it's like sixty some degrees outside, and it's wonderful and amazing. And we can finally use the porch furniture that Tim got me for our anniversary last October. We can finally use it. And we've, there's a puppy. There she is. Hi, hello. Um, we can finally use it in April and we got it in October. <laughs> um, we had our morning coffee outside. We got some of the larger sticks picked up. Um, we had to cut a bunch of branches down from the pine trees out front over the winter because they were so heavy from the snow that they uh, were hitting the ground. So we took all those back to the backwoods back there. You can see back there. And yeah, we went out to like Walmart and stuff this morning. And anyways, it's what time is it? It is 2.11 and we're just going to sit out here and relax. Later, we're going to go on a W.A.L.K with the dog. I can't say it or she'll get excited and then we'll have to go now. But I made coffee. I have all my writing supplies. I'm gonna get some writing done and I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm really excited about what I'm working on right now. I'm working on the prequel which is going to establish <coughs> how it's basically gonna establish Camelot and what it's doing in my universe after Arthur's death. So I get to write Guinevere and Lancelot and Gawain and Percival and Galahad and all these knights and stuff and characters that I love. And I especially love writing these characters because my first two years working at a Renaissance festival was a King Arthur theme. So I got to interact with all my friends as these characters and do shows as these characters and stuff. So, and one of our exercises in rehearsals was to like write letters back and forth to each other, like in character. And I would, oh, and I, what I would do is I would take those letters that I would get from the other characters and I would write like little like flash fictions. So I have somewhere, I might have it on an old hard drive or something, of all of those little flash fictions of Arthurian characters from like 2008 and 2009 that I wrote um, on cast. So I might try to find those and incorporate those in my book or see if I can get any inspiration out of them because I was playing um, Isolde from the legend Tristan and Isolde. So, and I don't, I don't think I'm gonna have Tristan and Isolde in my book, I don't know, um, but we'll see. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. I'm gonna work on some prequel stuff and setting up like my history timelines and things like that. And my husband's gonna help me, Tim is gonna help me because he also knows Arthurian lore. No, I'm not. Yes, he is. No, I don't. Yes. And he also knows, like, weaponry and armor and horses and stuff like that. And so he's been a real, real big help with medieval weaponry and fight scenes and battles and jousting and all this stuff and what would be realistic and not. So he's going to help me on that. He's going to build some of his Gundams today. And I've rambled on long enough, so I'm going to get to writing. And uh, I'll check in with you guys later.
hours later. I think I checked in about two something earlier. It's 10 to six and it's still light outside and it makes me so happy. We got a lot done today. We went to the park and we went about a mile. We walked about a mile and the dog did so good. Right puppy? We did so good. Yes, you did. Hi. Uh, we cleaned the house. We cleaned the kitchen and then I dusted and swept. Got some writing done as you saw and now we are cooking dinner well tim is grilling dinner we're having barbecue ribs and i'm very excited about it and i'm gonna get some more writing done while dinner's cooking we're gonna have corn on the cob and some macaroni and cheese because we're feeling some comfort food so it's still beautiful outside it was supposed to rain today but it is just Clear, I don't know if you can see, there it goes. Clear blue sky, look at that. And, and you guys, the neighbors have flowers blooming, look. Those are all, I don't know what kinds of flowers they are, but they're beautiful. I don't even care if they're like wildflowers or weeds. They're flowers and they're beautiful when they bloom. And you can see over there that they're starting to bloom too. Oh no, my camera's dying. Well, my camera is dying, so. I'm going to get some more writing done and check in with you guys later um, and charge my battery for my camera. So, see you guys in a bit. Bye. So it is about 7.40 and I'm tired. We've been running around all day. Um, Tim is watching Mr. Mercedes, um, which is the TV series adapted from... Stephen King's Mr. Mercedes and it's really really good and I'm trying to write but I'm very much distracted by Mr. Mercedes so what I think I'm gonna do is put some headphones in and play some music and hope I don't get distracted I could technically go in the kitchen the kitchen's really uncomfortable I'm really comfy in this chair so I don't know we'll see if I get distracted or not but I'm going to wrap up this vlog here I'm not gonna have time to vlog this week so you're just getting one day vlog which is fine because I got some writing done um, I got some research done I had to research some Arthurian characters because I'm working in the prequel so I can't just make people <laughs> I mean I can't I, I can because I can do what I want I mean Arthurian legend. There's so many different versions that you can just kind of create your own at this point. Um, but I wanted to stay true to like the classic legend and use as many Arthurian, cla like classic Arthurian characters as I could. So I've been researching who they are, um, what part they played, things like that. So I got a significant chunk of research done today which I am happy about. I'm struggling with the prologue a little bit. Um, the I really like the beginning of it, and the middle is great. It's just, I'm trying to wrap up the ending. What? What are you doing? Banana hammock! Are you serious? I am serious. Excuse you, gargoyle, get down. I adopted a dog, not a gargoyle. Where are you going with my poor dog? Uh, Timmy! What'd you do to the dog? Tim. Where'd you put her? On the floor. Oh, oh there she is! <laughs> oh, no. Payback. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna call it a night. I hope you guys had a great Saturday. I know I did. I got a lot of progress done with my writing. So, that's all I wanted to say. It was a very long-winded way of saying it, but I got a lot of progress done. So I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah. Like and subscribe, all that junk. Yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> no, but really, um, I'm trying to film more, so. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. 
and more shenanigans from those two. He's rude. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.